All right, guys, so the biggest bait banner to hit global so far is about to drop on February 1st, and this banner will only be here for a week. It's going to run from February 1st until February 8th, and what this is going to be is it's going to be a custom rate up summon. So what this means is you are going to be able to pick either uh, characters or skill cards from the general pool of characters and skill cards that you want. All right, so we're going to take a look at what all is going to be featured on this banner what you potentially want to pull for if you are going to pull but i will say this is like a skip banner you shouldn't be pulling on this because this banner comes out on february 1st and then on the uh, 6th we get season 4 and then on the 12th we have block asta so i mean it's really not a good idea to pull on this banner because of those other banners coming out but if you are a whale or a dolphin and you're willing to spend a little bit on summons then we will of course talk about what characters you should be pulling for so this tweet is from bcm leaks and notice it says 29th of february rate up plus banner okay i assume that that means we are also going to get this banner returning towards the end of February potentially because that's what he found in the files. Now the thing is the game has already confirmed this is for sure showing up on February 1st and running until the 8th so we'll get it from that date and potentially we'll also get it on the 29th so we might get this twice meaning you might want to at least wait until Black Asta comes out and see if you get him and then if this banner does return later down the line then you could summon on this banner. Also this banner will 100% percent be returning down the line with seasonal characters on it at some point because jp has already had this type of banner with seasonal characters on it and so like honestly my advice is not to summon on this banner but if you are going to let's talk about how it works each day you can choose which character you want to rate up making its drop rate increase from 0.125 percent to a full one percent chance also, working with skill pages, increasing the drop rate to the chosen one from 0.05% to 0.68%. And you have to choose between rating up a character or a skill page. You cannot do both at the same time. So what is potentially going to be featured on this banner? Well, this, I would assume, was pulled directly from the game files. Now, the thing is, we don't know that for sure. And also, I just want to say, I I find it so hard to believe that they're going to put Longris and Yuno on this banner right after their banner was just out. Like, that is really crappy for anybody who summoned on the Longris and Yuno banner because they're like, oh, well, you got to actually try to go to pity for these characters on their original banners. But then we're going to give you a rate up banner where you had a higher chance of getting them right afterwards. So, ha, joke's on you. We didn't tell you about this banner. Uh, and now you can get them rated up. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I just like, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, and you could have chosen which one you wanted rated up to. It's just, it's so weird the way they did it. But I, I don't know. It is what it is. They might be there. They might not. Just keep that in mind. I, it's hard to say. However, in terms of characters that you want to be pulling for, I would probably recommend going for William if you don't have him. I'd recommend going for Raya if you don't have him. So William's really good utility. Raya is really good nuking damage for PvE. And then beyond that, maybe Radius. Radius is a really solid tank. He's good in PvP for seasons to come. He'll just pretty much always be good. And then beyond that, there's none of these characters that I'd really recommend like out of necessity to need maybe red yami maybe for hall of illusions okay but yeah my top three characters are probably william raya and radius that i would recommend pulling for and then maybe after that maybe yami okay but the rest of these characters aren't really a necessity especially not like uh veto veto is really bad especially not kiato kiato is not necessary real is not necessary Foygoleon and leopold definitely not necessary definitely these two are garbage. Do not try to pull for these. Don't rate these up. Like, even if you're just like, oh, I'm just missing Nozel. I just need Nozel to finish all the general pool units. Trust me, he's not worth it. He's not a very good character. And then as far as skill cards go, uh, there's not really any skill cards that you need to fully, like, max dupe out. I don't know why you would summon for skill cards on this banner, so I just wouldn't even worry about the skill cards on this banner. If anything, I'd worry about characters and rating those up. 
Now, in terms of what this banner is gonna look like, it is going to look like this image right here. And this one is a picture from JPKR where they had seasonal characters rated up, which is really nice for them. However, we will not have any seasonal characters from season one or season two on this banner to my knowledge. If we do, that it might be worth pulling. But as of right now, we're not gonna have them on this banner. It's only gonna be general pool units, which makes it even less worth summoning for. But eventually we will get this type of banner returning where we will hopefully have seasonal units featured and you'll have your chance to rate up the seasonal character that you might've missed or wanted to pull extra copies of. So for right now, this banner that is coming up, I highly, highly, highly recommend you skip and if you don't skip, then only do like maybe two to three multis. Do not go to pity. I myself will probably not even summon on this banner and I summon on pretty much every banner. So do not summon on this banner because you know, season four, Noel and Charmy are coming for global. And then of course we are getting black Asta too. There's way better units coming. And the general pool units are just that. They're general pool units. You'll be able to pull them later at some point in time. You might even pull them when you're pulling for Black Asta or when you're pulling for these two characters. So keep that in mind. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider going down there, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.